So I was just watching One Community's most recent weekly progress update, and I decided that we should probably talk about it. We see unemployment as a growing opportunity, really. Automation is replacing most of the manufacturing jobs that used to supply jobs for a large percentage of the population. Automation is also about to replace most of the driving jobs, trucking jobs, and delivery jobs, things like that. And artificial intelligence now is replacing a lot of the jobs where people are taking phone calls and answering questions and customer service jobs, things like that. Wow, that sounds pretty similar to the kind of stuff that my man Andrew Yang has been talking about. And I know that for some people, the thought of losing your job can be pretty scary, right? Because you lose your job, you lose your source of income. Which is a big part of why Andrew Yang has been talking about giving us all a universal basic income of 1000 bucks per month. Now, if you're living on the grid in the city, like paying bills, stuff like that, 1000 bucks per month is probably not going to be enough money to replace what you earn at your job. But what if you live off the grid? That's part of why I'm so excited about Yang's plan to relax our zoning laws, which will free up more land for people to go build new homes and they can go live off the grid if they want. Now, unless you watch just the right YouTube video, learning how to live off the grid can take some pretty tedious research and actually getting properly set up to live that way can take a lot of hard work. But if we manage to successfully actually get set up to live that way, then it's less bills that we need to pay. And it might turn out that being unemployed is actually kind of nice. Computers are replacing most of these jobs. And we see this as an opportunity because we think that most of these jobs are not jobs that really bring people joy. Yep. Yeah, that sounds about right. They're probably not jobs that people just love to go to work at every single day and they feel like they're growing and prospering and doing something important in the world. We think that there could be a better way for people. This guy just hit the nail on the head. You know, I, I personally work at a pizza restaurant where I got to deal with, you know, bosses and customers and employees, you know, technical glitches. The job can be very boring. The job can be very stressful. Very often, there's just something else I'd rather be doing. Now, I know what some people are thinking. Some people are thinking, well, why don't you just get a better job? Well, because it's not that easy, right? I mean, the only other places that would realistically hire me are places that I wouldn't want to work anyway, right? There are more places where you got to deal with those obnoxious bosses and customers and employees and technical glitches, etc., right? More boring, stressful jobs. And it's because I hate these jobs so much that I'm not exactly begging my boss for more hours. And the consequence of that is that I'm actually running out of money. So uh, some universal basic income sounds pretty nice right about now, but you know what? Universal basic income has the potential to help us pave the way to something even better. There could be a better opportunity for people. And so, community as a solution to unemployment, everything that you see here happening in the background of the video is supportive of that. It's building the infrastructure and the foundations for that. Teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world to bring the resources where they're needed most, to provide a more fulfilling and enriching way of living. That's what we're creating. Basically, one community sees themselves as a stepping stone to the Venus Project. We consider ourselves a stepping stone to the Venus Project. See? For those of you not familiar with the Venus Project, it's a project stationed in Venus, Florida, that proposes an alternative economic model known as the Resource-Based Economy, or RBE. Uh, sometimes you'll hear mention of a resource-based global economy in reference to uh, the application of that economy on a global scale. Part of what's involved in the implementation of such an economic model is the construction of new self-sustaining cities where machines do all the jobs that nobody actually wants to do. You know, all those really shitty jobs that people are only willing to do if you pay them. And thus, through automated processes, anyone living in one of these cities would be given access to the things they need without a price tag 
because you don't have to pay machines. So basically, it's an economic model that has the potential to render the monetary system obsolete, to make it so there's no point in even having money. So it might seem weird that a guy who's championing universal basic income would also be championing a system that doesn't use money. Well, that system that doesn't use money is one that I view to be kind of uh, more, you know, often a more distant future universal basic income. We could have that as soon as 2021 if Andrew Yang is elected president. Uh, but basically, I see universal basic income not only as a way of smoothing the transition from where we are now to where we can be in the future, but also a universal basic income can help to fund that future, to help make it happen. I mean, if one community is a stepping stone to the Venus Project, Imagine what an extra 1000 bucks per month could mean in the hands of each volunteer associated with one community. We think that the Venus Project and the Zeitgeist Movement has laid the foundation for something absolutely transformative. The possibility of a world that truly works for everybody, and we agree with that 100%. Specifically, our goal of open sourcing and free sharing everything necessary to create self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities and hubs is to open source the foundations of the sustainable civilization that the Venus Project envisions. This includes not only food, energy, and housing, but also highest good economics, as well as education, fulfilled living, and true earth stewardship. Putting all of these things together and taking the resources that exist right now that the Venus Project and the Zeitgeist Movement have accurately said are sufficient to create that world and adding in the missing component which is a model that can be implemented right now we believe that if that vision of the future is truly to be become a reality the viable path to creating that is by gaining mainstream support and interest and the way to do that is to create a model right now that people can see and experience and duplicate and replicate and modify and adapt to their own desires and interests but to start spreading this concept of self-sufficiency sustainability and earth stewardship giving more than we take highest good for all living thinking for the betterment of all of humanity and saying how can we work together how can we collaborate to create this world that we want so that benefits all of us all people all life on this planet so this is what we're up to, and this is why we consider ourselves a stepping stone to the Venus Project. We're an all-volunteer, all non-profit, non-government organization, and anybody that wants to come and volunteer and work with us can. And we're working towards that point where we can move onto the property and turn what is currently a virtual experience into a living experience. And as we build out the infrastructure and create the housing and start growing the food and producing our own energy and providing our own education program, all those things will create an environment where people will be able to say, hey, I would like to be a part of this. And what I have to offer is my time. And it won't cost anything for people to enter in that environment, but all of their needs will be provided for. So if somebody's unemployed and they're like, man, I'm a hardworking, dedicated individual and I see what it is that you're doing and I'd like to be a part of that, you know, can you provide a place for me and my family to live that where I will be taken care of? The answer is yes. Now, in case this might need to be clarified for any possible legal reasons or something like that, uh, I am not an official volunteer with one community. It's something that someone on YouTube told me about. I went and I checked it out. I thought, oh, that's cool. I want to talk about them on YouTube, right? Uh, same goes for, you know, the Venus Project. I'm not, like, officially associated with them. I just happen to be a fan of the Venus Project. I love the idea of implementing the resource-based economy. And I'm not, like, part of uh, Andrew Yang's campaign staff either, right? You know, I've just... I just want Andrew Yang to be president. I want my 1000 bucks per month. So I'm not officially associated with like any of those, you know, organizations or people or whatever. Uh, I just think it's all great and it all needs to be implemented. But what I want the main takeaway from this video to be is that unemployment is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, because, you know, I'm seeing all these like politicians talking about, we got to create more jobs. Oh my God. It's just like, guys, start thinking outside the box. 
Fuck your stupid jobs. I don't like working your fucking jobs. I want to be free of these stupid bullshit jobs, right? I, I like the idea of machines doing these jobs so I don't have to. And so while I'm, I'm unemployed, I can either just be given a thousand bucks per month or maybe even more later on down the road. Who knows, right? I just be given money. I don't have to work my ass off for it. Or we could even implement a resource-based economy, create a system where there's no point in having money. I Unemployment is not a bad thing necessarily. It, it Maybe it seems bad in the current system where you need it uh, in order to have a source of income, but we don't got to do it that way. You can still have a universal basic income, or we can render the monetary system obsolete. I recommend we do it in that order. First, we implement universal basic income since we can do that faster. Okay, we can have that as soon as 2021. And then later on down the road, when we've got all the you know proper infrastructure in place for it, we can have a resource-based economy where money is rendered obsolete. I think it's a good idea. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. If you're interested in watching my future videos, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one. So have a good one, guys, and peace. Yang Gang 2020. Yang Gang 2020. Yang Gang 2020. Yang Gang.